Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Originally I was just gonna do like one run before dinner, but it ended up being 12 minutes long, so we're gonna knock out another one. Ooh, Mom's Contact. No, sorry, Blood Clawed, not Mom's Contact. Uh, plus the Bean. Two Spirit Hearts, TN730K26, and a pill. Oh, thank God it wasn't a bad trip. I had a brief uh, flash of despair there. Uh, good, actually. Like, the damage is good. The health is not as bad as it could be, but there is, like, when you look at this run, there is some clarity that you can see. Uh, like a clear situation in which we get fucked. If we don't pick up any HP for two floors, we're in a bad position, let's put it that way. Um, unless we get a lot of spirit hearts for whatever reason, but um, we can't access that tinted rock just yet, unfortunately. So, uh, I wouldn't say we're in a tight spot. No, I wouldn't go that far yet, but uh, I am a little wary, warier than I was on our last run at least, and uh, I'm really thankful that we started with at least decent damage so that Relatively low HP doesn't end up uh, affecting us that much at the start unless we take some seriously, seriously dumb damage. Hopefully we just get HP from the boss, and then life's good. Uh, you know, a tier's upgrade, absolutely. Sign me up. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> but honestly, I would get rid of uh, the bean for shoop de whoop I think the bean is bad, um, to put it in so many words. And I think shoop de whoop is also bad, but not quite as bad. And with Nun's Habit or 9-Volt being able to use uh, Shoop the Whoop, you know, once every room now and then is is decent. It's like a shitty brimstone. It's gonna take us a little while to get adjusted to not having, you know, the damage to literally just walk into a room, press spacebar, and destroy all enemies. Um, so be it. Time marches on, right? Uh, for now... We're just gonna take out Envy. I think it's a testament to our damage that we did so without even really being at much risk at all. Um, and certainly without getting hit, so that's that's pretty encouraging, I think, overall. Uh, I will go into this room, and it's, of course, a little bit of a risk. I didn't leave myself much of a window to get out, but each of these enemies is dying in two or three hits, so uh, I think we're, we're actually maybe even doing more damage than I originally thought. Blood Clot's helping out, and maybe we started with, like, slightly above base damage as well. Come on, I'm, I'm, in, I'm exploring because I want to get bombs. There's two Tinted Rocks that I've been unable to, to access so far. Each one of them could possibly, oh man, contain the, the keys to the kingdom, you know? That is a full Spirit Art, so at least the fact that I got hit there isn't that affecting, but... Oh well. Well, I'll tell you what, I, a Rate of Fire is gonna make this somewhat laborious, but I will sit here and I will shoot all the poop and, uh, you know, we've gotten a Red Heart out of it so far. I'm really starting to get increasingly pessimistic about the odds of us getting three cents, but there's one! And that's gonna do it, I think, yeah. Okay. Hopefully we, um, hopefully we get HP from the boss, but if we don't get HP, hopefully we get either the matchbook or... Oh man, kind of a tough boss fight here as well. Hopefully we get either the matchbook or... Um, The, the box, you know, the, the cardboard box, the crate, I forget what it's called. I think it's actually called the cardboard box, and I miscall it the crate. We're actually, this is one of the very few times that I think I'm stoked that we have uh, Pisces for the extra knockback. Because if we get a, a shot that's like directly on Gurglings, it's going to knock them far enough back that I'll have time to adjust. The problem, of course, is that if we knock them slightly off center, they could be knocked into us. But if we hit them like right where it hurts, we can push them away. It's going well so far. I think we've played pretty well to start. It's easier than it looks, honestly, when we have really good starting damage. And we pick up Squeezy, which is uh, kind of the best of both worlds, although I would have preferred a raw HP upgrade. Um, the ability for us to have the chance to get a deal with the devil on this floor is big. Also, um, we have a kind of a unique situation in that we could get... Uh, nine lives for three spirit hearts, which would give us a guppy item and also some HP, weirdly enough. Of course, it would take three spirit hearts in the process, but um, in the somewhat unlikely event that that item shows up on our deal with the devil, I would be very pleased. Let's put it that way. For now, uh, we don't have to. We don't have to worry about this. We just have to stay uh, stay vigilant. What do you think? It would be awesome if this was the secret room. It is not. That's okay. I wanted to check. It's as likely to be there as to be anywhere else, honestly, so. Um, seemed like a decent chance, at least. And free access to the uh, the secret room would be incredibly worthwhile if it gave us 
for example, nine lives. <laughs> I mean, I'm harping on the same string here, but, you know, it would give us the, the ability to gain some HP for free in that situation, which is even better. Mystery Sack has the potential to be really, really good. I, I appreciate this uh, quite a lot. The battery, maybe, depending on what we get from our, uh, our deal with the devil, if we get, like, Satanic Bible, then this will be worth it. We could pretty much have it pay for itself very quickly. Pills are risky. Let's try it. I found pills is fine. We learned something. Full health is fine. We learned something. Speed down is... It has the potential to be very bad. But it's not very bad by itself. I'm pretty stoked about the opportunity to... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> pretty stoked about the opportunity to possibly get a BFF as well. Even if we don't have anything that really takes advantage of it yet. Luck down. Save it in case we get a PhD or something, I guess. Alright. Very important that we don't take more than a hit here. It's... Very important that we don't take a hit if we can, you know, avoid it. But uh, really, taking more than a hit is a serious issue for us. Just keep him back. Man, Pisces knockback is actually working nicely for us here. But um, get a screw. Still not HP. Remember, this is what I talked about as being like one of my nightmare scenarios. Uh, we're not going to be able to uh, ensure deal with the devil precedent. Oh come on, that's just rude. We got a luck upgrade in our deal with the devil. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to secure a deal with the devil precedent. Uh, and that's pretty shitty. Like, that's that's one of the big draws about that second floor deal with the devil. That's why you end up taking things like Ghost Baby. You're like, ah, well, I have the HP and I'd really rather have precedent. So, um, it's a big loss, honestly, that we can't, uh, we can't guarantee that for ourselves, but I guess we're just gonna have to adjust here, to be honest. Let's sacrifice a Spirit Heart to go into our curse room and see if maybe we get lucky in there. I would not classify that as any kind of luck that I'm interested in. And unfortunately, we have basically no means with which to get the uh, BFF. So if I could just go into our uh, secret room and get a spirit heart. It, I don't know if there's one for sale. But if there is one for sale, I would like it. There is not one for sale. I'm going to be a little bit risky. I'm going to buy the bomb and hope that there is an eternal heart right here. Right there. It is a slot machine. A fortune teller, which gave us crystal ball. The odds of this are not very good. I should have waited till the next floor. Um, the odds of that are staggeringly low, but we may have just won the run with the strangest play, I think, that you could classify as a run winner. That's some trademark uh, Northern Lion luck right there. Okay, man. My demeanor has changed from kind of sullen acceptance that we're in for a long haul here to actually, you know, I gratitude, I guess, is maybe what I'm going for. Overjoyed gratitude. Like, that is, uh, that's a pretty amazing get for us there. And there's not that many items that beat the crystal ball as far as space bar items go, especially when you're low on HP and you're rolling exclusively on spirit hearts. A lot of spirit hearts. Of course, we also gain the mapping uh, out of it. The occasional tarot card that may actually be better than a spirit heart, or worse, but also, you know, the, the potential for both exists. No question about it. How are you, like, not dead? And I've filled you with like 10 shots here. We've had two tiers upgrades as well. The fact that they took longer than I expected to kill is kind of surprising. All right, uh, we're not spending any keys for the remainder of this floor. So if we can get some golden chests, I would love it. We got more keys and honestly, Ball of Tar is not necessarily my favorite item, but it's okay and the occasional slow on the enemy is gonna be nice too. This is a bit of a weird play. Uh, most of the time you would probably be like, it's not the best idea to go and fight the boss immediately because we're not going to have enough HP to take a deal with the devil. But I have a little bit of faith in this one. I have faith that we're going to get HP from our boss. Just want to make sure that we're not getting, uh, you know, kind of snow blind here. Like if there are grandfather flies, we want to make sure that we're uh, taking them out. Nubs get taken out. And then, uh, you know, when we have the opportunity, we're going to do a little bit of damage to Gertie there. It's a Gertie that doesn't uh, shoot bullets. So basically... As long as we just play it cool here, we're fine. Now, Mystery Sack probably was what paid out with that double key setup, like, just a little bit earlier, so I wouldn't be expecting a, a Spirit Heart or a Black Heart to drop from Mystery Sack here. If it happened, I would be, uh, I would be over the moon. But for now, I'm just happy that we're gonna be able to, you know, beat this boss and hopefully be in a, a tenable situation moving forwards. We got an Angel Room, and we do have a bomb, so the range upgrade sucks the big one, but... It is what it is, and then we got three spirit hearts. I don't really want to fight that angel statue, to be honest with you. I still got, you know, flashbacks to that uh, Mega Satan fight, where we 
lost our uh, amazing run. Could have put us on a much larger, well, slightly larger streak right now. If we get Angel Precedent, I may reconsider, but for now, I'm like, you know what? This bomb is its precious. We got better uses for it elsewhere. And we're still, like, shitting the bed on damage a little bit. Life goes on. We have seen our secret room now. It's right there. Um, we might as well go to our shop. It's not very likely to be successful. Or uh, lucrative is maybe the word I'm looking for. It's not very likely to be lucrative. But it could... Uh, no, it, it's not going to be lucrative. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I realize that we are... We're definitely not going to get anything on it. And that's okay, you know? Life goes on. Oh, it's not even a shop. It's actually a... Uh, Library, so we got one penny for nothing and chicks for free. I want my book of B. Should have said crystal B. I'll work on I'll work on that in the future, I promise. And we've had that speed downgrade, so I didn't really want to try to, you know, kite that around and try to get it to use itself for me. Oh, that's pretty solid. Oh, don't a little bit of a pet peeve that after you use an item you can't uh, immediately just pop uh, or pick up whatever's on the ground. And we do have a death card now, so it's not, I mean, it's not a huge haul for one bomb. It's not that great of a pickup, but uh, I'm happy with it. And we'll, we'll try to pop this maybe on a big room or something like that that would normally cause us some problems. You notice, like, uh, you know, we were at two spirit arts on our last floor. We're starting to pick them up pretty quickly here. I will use death here. Um, slightly annoying room. You might say, like, that room doesn't seem that annoying, but honestly, I have a huge tendency to take, like, one half spirit art or, like, one hit of damage on that room, so I'm happy that we were able to clear it out without causing ourselves any trouble. Same for this room, but uh, a little bit easier, I think, even though I almost just backed into a shot. Okay, one dead. And the last one. Even though we've had a luck downgrade, it seems like we're getting a lot of uh, consumable drops. And another room... Ah, that's fine. Another room that I would love to uh, pick up the cheap item on, but unfortunately cannot. I, I do think we will go through with this. Shouldn't have done that dodge, that's for sure. So I found pills we will take. Question mark. Sweet. Uh, we gained some information. Two luck upgrades is actually stellar. Telepills is totally fine. Because uh, the other one in there was like, I found pills, so I don't really care. Sweet! Um, yeah, we took half a spirit out of damage, but we got uh, a luck upgrade. I think that's a uh, very equitable trade, if you will. It's crazy that on our last run, we were about to uh, finish, basically, at this point. It doesn't even feel like this one has started, and yet on our last one, we were we were already on the, uh, the chest by now. Hilarious. Let's move onwards. Um, Catacombs 2. Now we're, like, behind schedule for boss rush, but that's also totally fine. So we will gain a spirit heart here. I do like the idea of using a, uh, a single bomb. We'll wait to see if a troll bomb drops, because it can get all six of those in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that myself. That seemed pretty centered. It actually worked. Doesn't happen that often for me. Full health. Good to know, but not really uh, something we can use right now. Oh, this is a fucked up one. I don't really want the keys. I would like the bomb. And I would like to open the golden chest. And I would like fate. And now I'll reroll the other things. We got another golden chest, which gave us a key. Fair enough, speed down. Cool, um, well, that was really good. We got the ability to fly. How could I say that that is not, uh, or that is anything less than amazing? I will because of the red chest, and I've got to admit that, you know, pills have been mostly okay for us so far. Pheromone's not really that much of a coup, but you get the idea. All right. I've been talking a lot about strategy on this run, because honestly, my, my brain is still trying to suss it out. My brain is like, you know, where are we going here? I honestly don't know. Our, our damage is still pretty shitty, but we got a lot of, like, uh... They're not really intangibles, but, like, things that are not necessarily super tangible. Under tangibles. Um, it's, it's unusual, let's put it that way. Uh, like, we have the ability to fly, but our damage is, like, the same that it was on the basement, too. But we have Crystal Ball. But we don't have any, like, you know, Horror Babylon or anything like that to take, like, super advantage of. So I don't know. Um, we also have, like, no money. But apart from that, like, well, even, like, including that, we're in a great position. Like, I think this run has been extremely kind to us. Thank you for not ever shooting. I appreciate this an enormous amount. I don't know why. Is it because you're a champion or do I, like, perpetually have you slowed? Oh, that was, like, exactly the comeuppance I deserved. 
Crystal Ball is back. Why not? Take Ringworm. Fuck around. Get messy. Make mistakes. The Fool. Uh, we will take over... What was our other option there? I forgot what it was. Couldn't have been that impressive. Um, oh, it's full health pill. Yeah, we, we don't really have a desire for the full health pill, so... Um, I think we'll take the Fool in the hopes that maybe we can sneak ourselves out of, like, a special room later that would otherwise be annoying. Curse room, etc., etc. Uh, boss Trap room is kind of in the back of my mind right now. I really don't think that we're going to have a great shot at it, but... You never know. Parasite? Sure, man. Absolutely. Uh, we'll, we'll take advantage of it, at least. Try to find our... Well, I mean, we don't really need to find it, but you know what I mean. We'll, we'll go to our secret room right here. And this would be a fantastic opportunity for us to get Magic Mushroom. Or just a lot of luck upgrades would also be fine. Uh, bad Trip is not useful for me. Luck Down is real bad. Pheromones is okay. Amnesia sucks. I found pills. All right! <laughs> we will stick with the Fool card, I suppose. Now, I have no idea how um, Ringworm Parasite is going to work out for us here, basically, but it seems to be doing a decent job, so I'm just going to enjoy it while it lasts. I, I think the Parasite is actually pretty cool, and if you get it uh, with some, some neat tier effects, it can, uh, it can make your run. It can make your run more fun. I'm not saying it's going to be like your principal damage dealer or anything like that. Uh, I, I, I want to go to the shop and fight Greed. I think it's worth a key to see if that gamble will pay off, and obviously it won't, but uh, worth a shot regardless. Now, we need to figure out how to shoot to actually land these shots. Obviously, you know, occasionally I have people go, Northern Line, why are you taking Ringworm? Because it's weird, and I, I like the weird tier effects. And, you know, we take Ringworm now, and maybe we get uh, maybe we get Tiny Planet later, and then we have Tiny Planet Ringworm Parasite, and it's it's this whole weird situation, like a tier effect we've never seen before. You know, we have, we actively have to, like, try to inject some new, uh, new blood into our Rebirth relationship at this point. We've been playing the game for a long time. We have to make sure that, uh, you know, it stays fresh for as many people as possible, you know, that we can keep our uh, mojo high. Two of clubs. I'll pop it right away. Allows us to keep the Fool card for whatever reason. No real uh, utility, unfortunately, to that blood bank yet. Maybe a secret room? Maybe a secret room? Alright, I, I basically have like a two-bomb maximum until I'm like, well, I don't need it that bad. And we'll just uh, keep this up. Now, what's my ideal setup here? Uh, I would love to finally get a deal with the devil precedent. How about a deal with the devil item or a deal with the angel item? Either one is fine by me. Just, like, pick a side. We're already on the catacombs too here, and we don't know, you know, where we're going. One of these days it might work, though. Um... Yeah, we haven't gotten a guppy item yet, but basically, whatever deals show up, I'm gonna take it. So we can get a precedent one way or the other. Nope, never mind. <laughs> that will not be necessary. We'll head down to the next floor and we'll hope for a deal with the devil there. And then we'll fight Krampus and then we'll go down to the next floor and we'll find an angel room with holy water or something like that. I, I can't wait. Um, I I'm happy we got some HP though. Like two red hearts is a really nice level to be at. Gives us a lot of flexibility for um, blood banks, deal with the devil, demon judgments, etc, etc. You know, better to be on all spirit hearts later and all uh, red hearts, or many red hearts at least, uh, early in the game, for sure. Curse room. So this is probably where I'll use the fool card, just because it doesn't really get better than that, honestly, unless we're going to get boss rush. And we are way, way, way too slow for boss rush. Two spirit hearts. It's worth our time, at least. Um, more spirit hearts. Even better. Curse of the Blind is is dangerous, but again, we're we're basically taking whatever deal. Sh oh, jeez, we're taking whatever deal shows up. So it's not that big of a deal one way or the other. We're almost at full HP. That's you know glorious news. Definitely want to hit up item room before the boss fight. Fighting greed here is I guess good, but at the same time, I'm like we still don't really have enough money to make our shop worthwhile. But now we have enough bombs to make our shop worthwhile. Which is, uh, I guess, the first step on the ladder. I mean, normally you'd be expecting to hit that a little earlier, but it is what it is. Could really use some more offense, man. Like, we've been kind of sitting in purgatory here damage-wise for quite some time. And this damage is not that bad, but it's also not that good, you know? And I'm coming to the point where I'm like, I may have to get rid of Ringworm in order to actually make uh, this run's DPS viable. Because I'm missing a lot of shots. Well, we'll buy something. 
Remote detonator is not a, a great choice. Let's try to buy the other item as well. That should actually do it. Mom's bottle of pills. Bad trip. Wow. That is a colossal waste of money. Let's go down to our item room. Uh, yeah, we can come this way. Save ourselves a room if possible. Even like a single orbital would actually be very useful right now. Or an attack fly or something like that. Just some other alternate damage source. Although I did miss out on BFF earlier, so... I'll always feel like there's a little bit of wasted potential there. Tinted rocks. Tinted rocks. No tinted rocks. That's okay. I really feel like um, the the worm trinkets need like a little bit of a redesign in order to reach their maximum potential. I think the worm trinkets, if they don't already, should like this one especially should carry like a damage upgrade or a rate of fire upgrade, just so that um, you know it's not just bad. I think all the other ones are cosmetic. I mean, obviously, Whipworm increases your shot speed because that's the only thing it does, but. Like, Ringworm is not really anything to write home about. It's kind of cool, but you'd have to be as dumb as I am in order to take it on a consistent basis. That was very stupid. Um, so I, I I wish that it just got like a slight reason to take it. It became like Guillotine. You're like, well, I still don't want to take it, but I understand now that it has some usefulness associated with it. Like, this is really satisfying. We finally did it. Okay, I don't really want to do the... Uh, the mob trap room, simply because it's going to take us forever here. Please, God, don't be soy milk. I'm picking it up, whatever it is, and maybe soy milk uh, parasite is actually going to be awesome for us. Especially after we fight Krampus on this floor and get uh, Lump of Coal, because it's going to do whatever it can to stop us from getting deal with the Devil Precedent. Isaac's Tears. That's substantially worse. Um, that's really bad. Thank you. Red Chest means I will do it, unfortunately. Ah, good, we got teleported out. Sacred Heart, all oh, the dream is alive. Okay, all is forgiven. I will now fight you, angel statues, which will give me uh, a certain measure of, uh, of angel precedent. But now we're sitting pretty. This is a great run now. This is absolutely fantastic. Sacred Heart is such a rare item, it never shows up. We'll obviously take the key piece here. I'm going to think twice about fighting Mega Satan, but if it ends up being uh, worthwhile, we will do so. All righty. Sacred Heart is a rare one, so I am pretty stoked, to be honest with you. Let's, uh... Well, we got like six rooms to go until we get to our boss. This is still going to be a pretty slow one, I think. And Ringworm, man, if I could just get like, uh... I was going to say Horror Babylon, which would be nice, but I'm, I'm actually thinking of uh, Spoonbender. If I can get Spoonbender, that would be excellent for me. A little late on the, uh... On the golden key drop, but if you find some golden chests, I'm fine with it. We're not guaranteed to get deals with the angel now, but I do believe that the key piece carries like some measure of um, precedent with it. So we should expect to be able to fight Mega Satan on this run. Whether we go uh, dark room or cathedral, I'm thinking cathedral just because it's still not that overpowered. It's it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not like you know 10 out of 10 overpowered. If it was 10 out of 10 overpowered, we'd go for a speed run like we did last time. It's not 9 out of 10 overpowered. It's like a 6.5 right now. And inside of here. People always get... Oh, I gotta take this in case we get like Blank Card Yara. People always get, out of, get bent out of shape when I'm like, ah, you know, I think that game's like a 6. I know that a 6 carries some negative connotations. We don't need Spoon Bender. We already have Homing Tears. It's just Ringworm is really bad. <laughs> uh, now I realize. 6.5 out of 10 is fine, man. 6.5 out of 10 is... Uh, slightly above average. It's not above average in in most high schools, of course, but, uh, you know, in, in college it's not a great mark, but it's okay. You know, C's get degrees. People will be like, man, this, this game's not a 6. This game's a 7. And I'm like, well, you know, to each their own, I suppose, but I don't, I don't see there being, like, a market difference between them, but I guess it depends, like, you know, what, what you're used to. We'll take Gubby's tail, of course. Um, now I'm really glad that I took Master of Unlocking. Might have seemed like that was just an excuse so that I could get rid of uh, Ringworm, but actually I'm super stoked that we were able to do so because uh, now we're going to be able to open all these awesome golden chests that come our way. Maybe we'll get Tammy's head again. <laughs> get rid of the crystal ball. 
I really wanted all of these to be golden chests. That is another, like, uh, pheromones pill. We've had 11 of them on the run so far. I think that we should donate to our donation machine. You know, keep the, the march up towards it getting to back to 900. We're doing a pretty good job of it so far. Eternal Hearts have been uh, actually godsends over the course of this run. That was a very easy setup. We're actually at full HP, so I can't take that. Wow, that's amazing. Um, we can afford to get rid of Crystal Ball any time now. Of course, it might be nice to keep it for, uh, you know, defensive purposes, but we could also get rid of it if we wanted to. Was that bomb homing, or did I just knock it? We have homing bombs? When did... Does Sacred Heart turn your bombs into homing bombs? This is very strange to me. I don't remember picking up Brother Bobby, but maybe I made him or not Brother Bobby, but Bobby bob -omb, but maybe I made a mistake. I know Sharp Plug is a fan favorite for sure, but I'm just going to wedge myself back here and donate as much money as I can. Uh, this run has been saved by Sacred Heart, ironically enough. And rarely, you know, they're like, that's a pretty amazing situation. It doesn't happen all that often, so... I'm pretty pleased. We did take a little damage, so probably we can take this uh, spirit heart now. Uh, we still have no mapping, but I feel good about the fact that we've donated. Still a little slow, even after that belt upgrade, so I uh, had to tackle that in the right way. You know, you might be able to convince me to take Isaac's Tears now, if it were to show up now, but... It was just, unfortunately, a victim of very poor timing. And it's a shitty item. But that has never stopped me before. Or I should say, doesn't always stop me. Alright, we'll pop pheromones. Uh, totally fuck up the contrast of the screen, but also make my life substantially easier. We got our boss fight already. And we have our item room already. And that might be the floor, honestly. I mean, it basically looks like it is. I'm gonna save Crystal Ball until we get down to the womb. Because we're already like halfway there. Don't need Spider Butt. Would love to snag like an Emperor card here. Or a Yara rune, even. Awaz rune. Not particularly useful. Hermit card. Also probably pretty bad, but hey, here we are. Alright, mom fight. Red mom is faster. Oh my god, it's the first time I've fought red mom in a little while. I was like, why is it so fast? Holy crap. It's gonna take us a little while to, uh... Do the damage that I'm used to. Like, if this had been a regular mom fight, I think regular mom would have been dead already. But red mom... Although, oftentimes, easier than, than blue or regular mom, even. Uh, annoying, in this case, for not giving us much of a window to shoot at. And, of course, that, like, almost zero tell attack there is so annoying. But we're almost done. And we're done. And we got another angel room. We'll totally take this. We'll take this. And what do you have for me? More spirit hearts, which we can't use. But we will uh, kill the angel statue, which should give us our second key piece. And uh, then we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the run. We will be able to fight Mega Satan if we want to. We don't have to fight Mega Satan, but we could fight Mega Satan. And you die before you do another laser attack, please. Okay, we got lucky, maybe. Sweet. I know we could have teleported away, but, you know, what's the point? We want the key piece. We have to fight. Good. Um, let's uh, see. Two of diamonds. Fantastic. Honestly, I don't think we use the Hermit card on this floor because we're so close to our boss fight to begin with. I think we just, uh... Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Master of Unlocking. Even with Guppy's Tail, Curved Horn is... It's my boy. Like, there's no other choice as far as I'm concerned. Let's, uh... Let's just move it along here. Yeah, this is, uh... This is an incredibly good haul for us. This is doubtlessly better than our item from the boss will be. Hopefully, though, now that we've gotten our key piece, we can just get a deal with the angel, and then that can be that, you know? Like, or sorry, deal with the devil, and that can be that. You know, we can pick up a really high damage item like a Death's Touch, which works awesome with uh, Parasite, and then we'll be on our way. And our timing on this is actually going to be perfect. No Tinted Rock that I can see in here. That's how you know you're going to kick the shit out of Loki. You walk into the room, and the first thing is like, oh, Loki, okay, Tinted Rocks? Are there Tinted Rocks anywhere? For an enemy that almost ended our run like two runs ago, this is a big get for us. So toothpicks is fine. I mean, it's a DPS upgrade, but I do wish that we managed to get a deal on it. That's not really within my control, though. Let's check out what we got here. Mmm, the goat head, just in time. Obviously, I'm, I'm being sarcastic, but uh, we will take it. And we might as well... No, we can't do anything else. I mean, we can take the money, but what does it matter? All right, uh... We should use this just to see where we are. 
It's not a very long way to the boss fight. Not at all. I say we just walk in here, get what we can get, which is uh, nothing, apparently, and then walk out. And we're going to walk back in because I'm an idiot, and it's going to be in the same position anyway, but now we have this Hermit card that we can use on the next floor. Chariot card. Chariot versus Hermit. Honestly, I, I like the opportunity for the Hermit to take us... Uh, uh, the, the opportunity for the Hermit to take us, like, a, a teleport card, kind of, you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. I'm gonna blow that up, I am gonna do this extra room. Uh, I'm doing so to get that Spirit Heart that's back there, and I know we're not gonna run out here. Like, we're in such a good position HP-wise, we're gonna be fine. Hopefully the Spirit Heart is indeed back here, okay. It, <laughs> Curse of the Maze shuffled it up a little bit, that's fine. Speed down, bad trip. Telepills. I would rather have the Hermit than Telepills, or no? It's tough. Telepills can give you an error room. And, uh, I mean, that's the principal difference at this point. Do, is an error room an asset, or is an error room, like, a, a liability? If I save it till the chest, I think it's an asset, but... You know, it, it's a lot of hand-wringing over something that's probably not gonna come to pass either way. But sure, we'll, we'll try it out. I don't know what happens if we get an error room on the Cathedral. On the Cathedral, it's probably pretty much, uh, you know, a wash between them. There's one more left? Oh, he's dead. Okay, full health. We could use full health. It's probably better than telepills at this point, but it's not as fun. So let's kill the uh, boss here. And if you're saying... Oh, that's bad. If you're saying Northern Lion, there's a battery on the ground you forgot about. Shame on you, good sir. Shame on you, good sir or madam. Because we uh, are obviously aware of this, but we're going to use it after this room so that we can get a full charge for the next floor and use it for mapping. Um, I just wanted to make sure we weren't, you know, wasting our opportunity here. I don't really care about the spirit heart, to be honest with you. So we'll pop it immediately. Emperor? Strength. Not quite as cool. So let's uh, let's go telepills. Now, do we telepills right away, or do we telepills uh, on the chest? I think if we don't have a curse, which we don't, we'll telepills on the chest. I should not have come here, but it's still going to finish very easily. Um, we'll telepills on the chest, and the reason for that is uh, that the error room on the chest is awesome. We have enough keys to open, you know, four sets. Or two sets, I should say. At least for now. Um, yeah, so why not? You know, an, an air room is actually an asset at that point. Infamy, well worth it. I mean, at this point, we can probably start to call this a win. And it's actually ended up being a, a surprisingly kind of uh, easy win. We had to work for it in the, in the beginning of the game. It wasn't that hard, but, you know, we didn't have very much HP. Once we got Sacred Heart, though, this one uh, definitely came around for us. And we will uh, we'll pop Crystal Ball once more on this floor. I don't need the Spirit Heart yet, but, uh, you know, getting an, an Emperor card or something like that would be useful. Should probably check this Secret Room as well. Well, that, now we do need the Spirit Heart, so I'm glad we checked. I can't believe that I managed to get under that bomb. I was not really using my Noggin at that point, but I guess we got lucky. And we'll explode this Key Beggar, no question. Worth it, I guess. Uh, you know, there's not really much to comment on there. It's like a successful pass in soccer, you know, when you're not under pressure. Football, sorry. When you're not under pressure, it doesn't really matter. It might make a difference within the context of the game, but, uh, you know, it's also the expected outcome. So let's destroy Isaac here. It's going to be a little slower than our last Isaac fight, and I think that's what I've gotten used to over the course of this run, is just the idea that, like, last run is atypical. That is not a, a common run. As much as I love it, you know, one of those runs... Every couple of weeks is really good. Any more than that, and we'd, we'd stop appreciating them, probably. You know, it's like Jason Lee said in uh, Vanilla Sky. You know, the sweet just isn't as sweet without the sour. Got him about 70% down, I'd say. So it's like a pretty good sale at Walmart. 70% off. I've gone on record before saying I don't, I don't believe in sales. I know that's a ridiculous statement. I know it's illegal to, like, fake mark down prices but I think it happens all the time there's so many stores that are like oh we like it's, it's store closing sale clearance and then but it's it's been closing for like four years but this time it's really closing I don't know you know I need like a consumer advocacy board you know what we actually can't tell pills because we don't want an error room um, because we would lose the ability to fight mega Satan so I'm actually just going to try to do, like, a couple of rooms, and the reason I'm doing this is to get Crystal Ball ready. It might give us an extra Spirit Heart for our, um, for our Mega Satan fight. Capricorn is great, by the way, plus, um, Anti-Grab I think is totally fine, so... 
We got one more room here. It's a pretty easy one. Uh, Anti-Grav Sacred Heart is actually cool. The shots are homing. And we get uh, the Stars card, which maybe if I'm breaking it real hard against Mega Satan, I'm going to be interested in popping this. I'd be surprised, though. Now, this is revenge for the time we died against Mega Satan. It should work out relatively well for us. We have great damage, especially with that Capricorn pickup. These guys should not, oh my god, should not offer, uh, or be able to offer much in the way of resistance. Oh, there's still the, the horse up there. Watch out for these guys, because the knockback is going to be a little silly on war. These shots are going to work just fine, though. The horse is already dead. The horseman is soon to follow. Thank you. Okay. Get as many shots lined up as we can. I really want him to, like, I want to goad him into the brimstone shot. So that he he uh, exposes his head for, like, a little bit longer. That would make my life super easy. This is a really great run. I'm, I'm a big fan. I might have, uh, in hindsight, been better off doing some more rooms of the chest. It looked like we were doing pretty well on them. And also, oh, shit. Oh, we didn't get hit. At least not yet. Uh, and also, um, our luck is so high, I would have expected more chests if we had done it for a little longer. But this is going to be an easy, easy, easy win. So we are just going to relish the opportunity to beat Mega Satan and make up for that terrible loss I had against him a little uh, earlier, a couple days ago. So I'm excited about this. Just drop as many shots as you can. He's going to go down soon. That's his brimstone shot. It's not going to be quite the... Amazing coup that I expected, but he's already dead. Okay, now we just line up as many of these shots as we can. And he is just going to get hit by like a huge bombardment as soon as he finishes. And that will make our life extremely easy here. He is already almost dead, and that made it substantially worse. He should die when I let go of this button. That's a lot of power. Wow. Good run. I had a great time. I hope you guys did as well. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.